Carey here today. We got Coach Chris doing our queuing. Thank you so much. And uh, we don't need any equipment today, but most of our stuff will be ground floor work. So uh, if maybe your camera is kind of angling uh, up right now, maybe you want to just angle it down so that it can catch you while you're on the floor. Okay. And we are doing upper body today. So we're going to be doing a lot of arms uh, and we're going to throw in some core in there as well. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just warm up. Let's go ahead and just warm up those shoulders. We want to make sure we open them up all the way back, squeeze those traps and relax across. Nice and squeeze in the back, get those lats, those back muscles, squeezing them, warming them up. And if you're just joining us and didn't get to stick around for any of the, all of the uh, warm-up jokes. <laughs> Let's make sure you get your lungs warmed up as well. Breathe deep into your belly. All right, next, just go ahead and just do opposite, opposite windmills, windmills, windmills with your arms. Marilyn's yes, here. Side. Hello, hello. Switch to the other side. Allison, later we're going to have to move your camera down just a little bit. And the same thing, Karen, uh, if only because we have, we're going to be doing a lot of floor work today. So when you're ready, yeah. we'll, do, we'll worry about it later when we get there, okay? Okay, next, what I want you guys to do is just inchworm all the way up. So legs as straight as you can, and we're going to inchworm our way up. Just pause, engage your core for a quick two seconds. Walk it slowly back in, come up. And we're gonna keep doing that for a little bit. Again, when you're down here, just freeze in that tight position, hold, squeeze your core, and back. Now, as much as you can when you're going for this inchworm, on your way there and on your way back, try to keep your legs straight. Stacy, let's get those palms flat to the ground. Gotta protect those thumbs. There you go, thank you. Ooh. How's it going, Angelica? We're doing that inchworm crawl out. And if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you can put your feet together. And you're gonna have to stretch a little bit more. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and give me, uh, let's give me, let's say 10 push-ups. Just to warm up. As always, we're looking for that chest and belt buckle to the floor. Try to keep your chin up just a little bit. So Stacy, eyes to the uh, couch. Okay, once we're done that, I just want you guys to just go on your knees into a plank position. And we're just gonna go slowly, just open up one at a time. We're just gonna slowly build our way up there. Open up to a T while you're on your knees. Just taking it slow. As Open you're opening chest. your chest, try to look up at the ceiling. And if you lean forward a little bit, you'll warm up your core along with it. Check in with your hands, your wrists, your shoulders, see if there's anything that needs a little bit of love today. And make okay. sure you pause for just a quick sec. And I just want you guys to just kind of just roll your knuckles back and forth just a little bit. And I give our wrist some mobility work as well. Let's roll a little bit because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a lot of floor work today. So may take a beating on your wrist there. Allison, is this your first class? Yeah, is it your first class? Yep, it is. Oh, welcome. Ooh, welcome, Allison. Nice, nice. Okay, that's about it. Get up, shake it out, shake it out. Take a quick sip of water, we're gonna get ready. All right, so what we're gonna do, you can drink water while I'm explaining here. Uh, we're basically gonna do a pyramid uh, pyramid compound exercises, if you will. 
So a pyramid would be the time. Uh, we're going to be doing exercises of 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and then we can go back down to 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and 20 seconds, okay? Uh, with the exercises each round, I'm going to be adding an exercise on top of that. So the first one is nice and easy, just push-ups. Um, now, we are going to be doing a lot of push-ups today, so you may find yourself needing to maybe go on your knees a little bit later. That's totally fine. We're still just looking for that chest to floor, right? So if you got to do it on your knees, do it on your knees. So first one, 20 seconds, push-up. And then what we're going to do is, after the push-up, the next round, I'm just going to explain everything all in one go. So first one, just nice push-up, 20 seconds. Okay, go ahead, do as many as you can, pump them out. The next one, we're going to add exercise of plank to T. So that exercise we're just doing where we're on our knee, opening to T. For this one, though, we're going to go push-up. So this is the second round for 30 seconds. We're going to open up to T, open up to D, and then back down to push up, open to T, open to T. So that's our second. Our third one, we're going to be adding our spiders, our Spider-Mans. So we're going to go push up, open to T, other side, open to T. Then we're going to come back to this plank position. One, we're not doing a push up down here. I'm just bringing my knees up to the side, bring my knees up to the side, okay? So that's the fourth one. Then the next one that we're gonna open up after that, we're just gonna come up after spider, spider, we're just gonna jump up to a squat. Then we're gonna come back down, pop it back out, and then start again, okay? And then each time as we go through, we're just gonna take out what the, the last exercise. So I'm gonna just tell you guys what we're adding on next, and then as we go, I'm gonna tell you what we're taking off next, okay? So to start off, Push-ups, so key thing today, guys, we're not looking for speed, looking for nice controlled movements, okay? So Coach Chris will help us with that. So let's go ahead and get ready. Let's get on the floor. We're gonna start off with our push-ups. Ready, steady, and let's go. So, just so in, order to, in order to make sure that you make it to the very bottom, you can always rest your chest on the floor, almost like you're trying to lie down on the ground. And if you can clap at the bottom, that's how you know you made it to the very, very bottom. Three, Angelica, we're gonna need to angle two, that camera down a bit. One. Okay, we got about 10 seconds. Next one, we're gonna do one push-up, plank to T, plank to T, push up again, plank to T, plank to T, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. One push-up and two plank to T's. Again, nice and slow, guys. All the movements are nice and slow. Now we're up to 30 seconds. And every time, chest to the floor. And if you are doing a knee push-up, when you do your plank to T, I do want you to come up on your toes for that plank to T. Three, two, one. Rest. The next one, we're gonna be doing, uh, we're adding the spider. One to the side, the other to the side. Three, two, one. Let's go. One push-up. I like to T, plank to T, and then Spider-Man, boom, other leg, and restart. Angelica, at the beginning of the next round, can you angle your camera down just so I can see you a little bit better? Perfect, that's it. Now, as your arms are starting to get more and more tired, try to put that focus right into your core. Pull your shoulder blades down so you can engage your lats. Time, time, time. All right. The so last one, we're going to jump up, hold in a squat, going back down. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. This is 50 seconds. Every, again, we're taking this slow. We're adding a jump in to the squat at the end. Going down for that push up, plank to T, plank to T, get your two Spider spiders, Man. and then you're gonna up. pop up, hold, hold that, one, you hold two seconds, hold for two seconds, guys. Okay, go. Restart it. Stacy, don't let those hands go out too far in front of you. You gotta keep your weight to the front, okay? Try to keep your weight right on top of those hands, right there. If you can, Donna, try to stay off of your knees, okay? Especially on the Three, way down for two, your push-up. 
one. Rest, guys. Rest, rest, rest. Woo! Man, man, man. Shake it off, guys. Shake it off. All right. Take a quick drink of water if you need to. Next, we're going to go into a different set of exercises, okay? And then we're going to repeat that again. So get your quick drink of water while I explain what we're doing next, okay? So same format, just different exercises. The next one we're going to be doing. First exercise, nice plank tap on our toes, shoulder taps. Okay. Imagining that glass of water on our back. Try not to move as much. That's the first one. After the plank shoulder taps, what we're going to do is we're going to do adding elevator planks. We're going to go one tap, one tap, coming down on our forearms, coming back up. That's one. Okay. That's our second exercise, adding the elevator plank in. The third one, we're going to be adding an oblique twist. Have you guys ever done mountain twisters? So we're going to go tap, tap, elevator plank, up, up. We're going to go one, opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Okay. And then after that, after our oblique twist, oblique twist, you're just going to pump out five mountain climbers for me. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to restart. Okay. We ready? Ready, coach. All righty. Go ahead. One, two, three. Let's go. Just the plank test. And we're slowly starting us off. We're just kind of going up the perimeter first. Then the next one, we're going to slowly come back down. We're going to do that in round two. To get the most out of your core, you got to make sure your hips are nice and leveled with the shoulders. Add your hips down a teeny tiny bit. Time, time, time. Next, you're going shoulder top, shoulder top, one elevator plank, shoulder top, shoulder top. Three, two, one. Let's go. One shoulder tap, one shoulder tap, coming down to your elevator planks. Come up. So that elevator plank, we're going down onto our elbows and back up to our hands. Allison, if you can, try to be on your toes. So let's get those knees off the ground. Lynn, if you can, I want to protect your shoulders, so let's just lean Two. forward until your One. chest is on top of your hands. Time, 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 time. Next, we're adding that oblique twist. One, two, three, two. One, let's go. Two shoulder taps. One, two, elevator plank. Down, up, oblique twist, oblique twist. The most important thing here now is gonna be trying to keep your hips as stable as possible. So imagine you got a bowl of water on your back and you're trying not to spill it. The closer to the middle you stay, without rocking left or right, without shifting your weight too much, the more Three, your core is going to work. Two, one. Time, 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 time. Next one, we're adding five mountain climbers at the end. Three, two, one. Let's go. Adding five mountain climbers at the end. You know what? Make it six. Six mountain climbers. I don't know why I made it five. Could be five pairs. <laughs> Just, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. So we're going for that shoulder taps, elevator plank, oblique twist, and then those mountain climbers. We're going for that oblique twist. Let's get that leg really twist as far as you can. That's going to be the opposite of trying to keep the core tight. And of course, you gotta squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one, time. Shake it out, guys, shake it out, shake it out. Shoulders are probably burning, so are mine. But that's okay, we burn together. All right, so go have a quick drink of water, okay? What we're gonna do next, we're gonna go back to that first set of exercises, okay? But this time, we are actually gonna add the decline at that pyramid, so you're going to go 20, 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 
and then each time we're gonna take off one exercise, okay? So just to recap, our first set was push up, plank open to T, spider right, spider left, we're gonna come in, jump in, squat hold for two seconds, okay? And then each time we're gonna take off one exercise, again, in that 10 second break, I'll tell you which exercises we're taking out, okay? So let's get ready into our push-up position. All right, you ready, ready, ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Push-ups, guys, let's go. Don't mind me, you guys keep going. Sorry, I'm just pulling up my thing. You guys keep going. Let's get back chest to deck. So again, if you're really challenging yourself, I wanna see you give me a high five or a clap at the bottom. Three, two, one. All right, quick 10 second break. Push up, open to T, open to T. We've done this before. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Push up to T. Now, if you want to really challenge your core and your side, especially those obliques, when you go for that T, you're going to lean as far forward as you can. Yuketi, I know you got the balance for this, so you got to do it on one foot. There you go. Karen's going for it as well. Three, two, one, and break. Next, we're adding our spiders. One, two, okay? Ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Adding our spiders. Keep calling them spiders, it means Spider-Man. Because you're climbing like a Spider-Man. Nice and controlled, guys. Again, we're not looking for speed. We want every movement to be very meticulous, nice and slow, squeezing those muscles. Now, like for that push up, let's just keep your chin up a little bit more, all right? Abby, for that push up, gotta squeeze your glutes, okay? Try to get your hips up before you get your chest up. That's Three, you the most of your triceps. One, ten. We're adding at the very end, jumping up. Squat, hold, one, two, back down. Three, two, one, let's go. Kenny, try to make sure that your uh, belt buckle comes with your chest, so together, try not to hinge. That's it, Allison, take your time. I want that two second hold when you guys come up for a jump squat, okay? I want that hold. A little bit of work on your leg. Allison, let's get that depth a little bit more and just make sure your knees don't cave in, okay? So you're gonna check in with your feet, heels, little toe, and big toe. That's it, try to imagine you're sitting on a really small chair. There you go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, this time, we're just taking off the most recent thing. We're taking out the jump-in squat, okay? You're just taking that out. Three, two, one, let's go. We're down to 40 seconds now, guys, let's go. So just taking out the jump-in squat. We're not doing that anymore. If you find that your wrists are starting to get a little sore, if you have some dumbbells that are nice and flat, you can actually do that on them. That'll keep your wrist in a more neutral position. Or you can even do this on your knuckles, but you know, might need some padding. Lynn, let's get those hips down just a little bit. Gotta protect your core. Three, oh, shoulders two, starting to feel it. One. Pull, pull your lats down. Time. All right, guys, we're taking out the spiders. We're taking out the spiders. We're just push up, open to T, open to T. Three, two, one, let's go. Down to 30 seconds. So Lynn, when you're holding this plank, I want you to imagine doing a reverse shrug. So shrug up, and that's like a regular shrug, and shrug all the way down, as far down. That's the feeling you want to hold. That, those are your lats, and that's where you're going to put that tension. That'll hopefully take the stress away from your shoulders. It'll also make your push-up a lot harder, which means this is the right way to do it. Three, two, one. Time, last 20 seconds, guys. It's just gonna be push-ups. 
nice and controlled. Try to get your chest down to the floor. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20 seconds of push ups. Now, if your arms are starting to feel like they're going to fall off, you can always try and adjust your hand position. So you can always tilt your hands outwards a little bit. Three, get a little bit more bicep two, there. One. Rest, guys. Rest, rest, rest. Go ahead, shake out your hands, rub your wrist a little bit. We're gonna take a quick break, okay? And then we're gonna transition back into that set number two of the shoulder plank tap. I'm gonna go through those exercises again. Again, this time we're gonna go through the full pyramid up and down, okay? So go ahead, roll out your wrists a little bit. You know, do a lot of pressure on them. How's everyone doing so far, coach? How's everyone doing? I think everyone's doing pretty well. Everybody made it through that. <laughs> All right, my, my sweat is like slowly dripping down my face. Okay. Guys, okay, so just to recap what we're doing in our second round, we are going to do our shoulder plank taps. To start off with nice and slow, shoulder plank tap, okay? Then we're gonna go shoulder plank tap, shoulder plank tap into our Elevator plank. Okay. After uh, elevator plank, we're gonna go oblique twist, oblique twist. After that, we're gonna do six mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna repeat that. And then again, each time, we'll just take off one thing at the end. Okay. So let's get ready, guys. Get ready. Back into our shoulder tap. Get those wrists ready. Okay. Let's get ready. In three. Two, one, let's go. Plank taps. Now, if your shoulders or wrists start giving out, you can make it a little bit easier on yourself by putting your knees down, but I want you to only use one knee if you have to. Three, two, one, time. Next, we're adding that one, two, one elevator plank, one, two, one elevator plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Now when you're doing that elevator plank, I wanna see you focus on your triceps. I want you to focus on smoothness. So you wanna make sure that your elevator is coming up as smooth and going down just as smooth. Same idea as we were talking before, if you had a bowl of water on your back, you want to make sure you keep all the water in that bowl. Three, two, one, time. Adding our oblique twist, oblique twist. Ready, and three, two, one. Let's go, adding those oblique twists in. Now, as you're going for that oblique twist, try to get your knee or thigh horizontal, almost like you're trying to go put the side of it on the ground. So really try to twist as far as you can. Lynn, I'm going to get you to take a quick break and you're going to just give me squats for now, okay? Three, two, one. Time. We're adding six mountain climbers, guys. Six mountain climbers. We're making it to the top of the ladder. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Adding those six mountain climbers. All right, Lynn, for you, it's going to be three squat. Then you're going to march to the front, and then you're going to step, 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 step backwards. So footwork. So three squats. Go to the front of the mat. Go to the back of the mat. Just make sure you have nice, stable footing there. All right, Lynn, when you're ready, you can get joined back into the exercise there. Almost there, guys. That's it. Beautiful job. You guys are almost done. One. Time. We're taking out mountain climbers. We're back to 40 seconds. No mountain climbers. Okay? Three, two, 
One. Let's go. We're making our way down the ladder this time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start. So again, you're starting off with those shoulder taps. Going down for your elevator. Going back up. Then you're getting that crossover for that twist. Slowly working our way back. All right, Allison, let's see five squats and then five knee tucks. So you're gonna go five, straight up and straight down. That's it, knees out a little bit more. Let's get those quads engaged. One. Time, we're taking out the oblique twist. We're literally just going shoulder tap, shoulder tap, elevator plank. Almost there, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go, let's start. Taking out those oblique twists. We're just doing shoulder tap, shoulder tap, elevator plank. This is your friendly reminder, the further forward you lean, the more your core is going to be working right alongside with your shoulders. So Dina, eyes up, just chin power, up a little bit. Please. You might feel your glutes right now, they might be on fire, trying to keep your core tight. Time! Down to the last 20 seconds, guys. Just shoulder taps. I want to see control shoulder taps, okay? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last one. Try to keep those hips from rocking left and right. Dina, hips down a little bit. There you go. You got it. Two, one. Time, 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 time. Shake it out, guys. Shake it out. Okay, we are going to be doing exercises next that'll put us off our hands and wrists. So go ahead, take a quick drink of water. Shake it out, shake it out. Just maybe roll out your wrists a little bit. Give them a bit of a massage. Okay, your water break, your water break. You deserve it. Does everyone still hang in there? I think so. <laughs> All right. All right, yep. Take a, quick, take a quick break, take a quick break. Give your wrists some loving, okay? And we're gonna move on to some exercises for our core. So it's gonna bring us off of our hands. All right. All right, all right. So next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do some core work. Core, um, I'm looking actually at our lower back for now, okay? Um, and then we're gonna kind of transition to our front core and then we're gonna do some, a uh, little bit of tricep this, but I'll kind of move that to a little bit later since we give our hands some break, okay? So the first one, we're gonna be working on our back. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds of these. Again, we're kind of gonna be adding on. So first one, we're gonna be on our stomach and we are going to do a Superman. So we're gonna go. Hands and feet off the floor. We're flexed, everything's flexed. I'm squeezing my glutes. I'm squeezing my lower back. I'm squeezing my feet. Everything's up. Okay, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. After that 20 seconds is done, still on Superman, we're gonna do our lat pull downs. So we're pulling down our lats here. And we're squeezing all our muscles on the side and on our upper back. So while maintaining Superman, down, up, down, up. And that's for 20 seconds. The last 20 seconds, we're just gonna do like a charging Superman. So instead of arms up here, we're gonna squeeze everything back here. Squeeze our arms, squeeze everything. We're charging, charging position. Again, for another 20 seconds. And we're gonna repeat that a couple of times, okay? The other one, afterwards, we're gonna do, so after we do our back, we're gonna do that uh, one set, then we're gonna flip one over to our back. We're gonna go ahead and do toe reaches, nice and simple. Arms are, uh, sorry, legs are straight. We're engaging our core. Upper body is off the floor. We're gonna go ahead and just reach for our toes as high as we can. Again, for 20 seconds. Next one that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and do V-sits. So straight, up, straight, up. We're gonna do that next. And then last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do bicycles for 20 seconds. Okay, but each time you'll see my leg is fully extending and my elbow is always touching the opposite knee. Okay, so again, that's toe reaches. Then we're gonna do V-sits coming up. Okay, and then last but not least, bicycle. So we're gonna go through that cycle. We're gonna start on our front first. 
20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right. Let's get ready, guys. Everybody on our stomachs. I'm going to make myself some space here so I don't kick stuff. All right. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Just our Superman. Let's go. Let's hold. And you want to really squeeze your upper back, try to get your hands and chest as high up off the ground as you can. Three, two, one. Break, quick break, just relax. Next one, we're gonna add our lap pull down. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, lap pull down. Squeeze through your sides and up. Nearly, let's get those hands up a little bit higher up off the ground. There you go, keep them high, high up. Yes, that's it. Three. Do the same thing, especially when you go for that lat pull down, try to keep your hands up high off the ground. Quick break, next, charging Superman. We're squeezing our arms, everything. Three, two, one, let's go. Charging Superman. We're trying to get somewhere really fast. Save the day, let's go. Alternatively, it's the uh, Iron Man. Ah, yes. <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> hey, there's our Avengers trivia right there. There you go. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, let's go to our back. Fur region. v and bicycle. Ready in three, two, one. Fur region. Let's go. Now, if you want to build more strength, you're going to reach up, hold for a second, and then come back down. So when you get to the very top of your toe reach, you get to hold it for a second, and then come right back down. That's it. Three, two, one. Quick break, then we're going to go into our V6. Again, okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's go, V6. 20 seconds, guys. And if you want to get the most out of this, you're going to give yourself a hug and that way you take your hands right out. Allison, let's try to stick those legs straight at the very bottom of that. Time! Bicycles, guys, let's go. We're starting in three, two, one. Bicycles, let's go. Full extension on that leg, elbow to knee every time. Keddy, nice technique there. Reaching all the way up, getting your heels close to the ground. Three, two, one. Nice, flipping back around to our front. Back to that Superman, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, if you want some extra difficulty this time around, push your heels and toes together. Squeeze them as tight as you can. So keep your chin up just a little bit. Now let's get those hands and arms, palms way away from the ground. One, quick break. We're gonna do our Superman lap pull down, okay? We got about three seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So I want you to imagine that the floor is just a little bit higher than it is, and you keep your hands sliding on that invisible floor. It's gotta be the same level. So don't bring your hands down. You instead wanna keep your arms all in the same plane. Three, two, Abby, hands one. up a bit. Time. And so that charging Superman, or as Coach Ruth says, into our Iron Man. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's charge. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze everything you got. Same thing here. If you squeeze your heels and toes, you'll get a lot more glutes. Let's get those palms almost like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Two, one, time. Back into our back. Toe reaches. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now, don't forget to breathe. So as you breathe out, reach up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 
Now let's keep those chins up just a little bit. Let's protect your airway. Time, time. Next, V-sits, guys, in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go, V-sits. Now, if you are going to use your arms, you got to really make sure that you keep them locked in place. Try to keep them tucked to your biceps, to your ears. And you can complete the same movement. Ah, there it is, Kenny. Time, 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 time. Into our bicycles, guys. Bicycles. In three, two, one. Let's go. Cycle it up. So if you need a target to aim for, you're trying to get your leg all the way out, like the back of your leg, almost to touch the ground. Or you can imagine sticking your heels out or toes out to try and touch something One. right on the floor. Time, 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 time. All right, we are going to end up in a little bit of tricep, uh, tricep work, if you will. So kind of same timing wise, we're gonna do 20 seconds of each. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a tricep dip on the floor. So just make sure your hands are not uh, pointing too forward, just in case we do have some shoulder problems. You can kind of angle out your hands a little bit when you're doing this. So I'm gonna go, the further out your leg is gonna be harder. Okay, tricep dip. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Okay, tricep dip. Next one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually put ourselves into a plank and I'm gonna dip our butt gas. So instead of doing a front dip, I'm doing a black back dip on my heels, okay? And then the very last one, we're gonna kinda just add those two together. We're gonna combine them for 20 seconds. We're gonna go one dip, two dip, step out our leg, one dip, two dip, back, try to dip. Okay, so two and two. So we're gonna start off nice and easy with just just a tricep dip, okay? Again, if you do have shoulder problems, try not to put your fingers too straight forward. Try to angle them up a little bit. Protect your shoulder a little bit, okay? So, 20 seconds. Are we ready? Position. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tricep dips. And if you have some weights, and if your wrists are really not feeling it, you can always do what Marilyn's doing. You can go for those tricep extensions instead. Three, two, one, time. Next, we're going to go into that full body plank. And we're just dropping our butt down to work out our core a little bit. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's push up. Something else that you can do here to get even more out of your glutes is almost like you're trying to touch your toes, the flats of your feet to the ground. So it's Eight. not just about your glutes One. or your core. Rest. We're going to combine those two together. Two triceps and then two uh, butt dip. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, step it up. One, two, and When you're going for those butt dips, really try to get those toes to the ground. Try to really Three, flatten your feet. Two, one, time. All right, we're gonna go through this one more time. And that is our exercise today. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stretch it out, okay? All right, shake it out, shake it out. One last round, guys, is really try to push, okay? 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right? Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Try up dip. If you have a chair, you can actually do the dips off of the chair. Make it a little bit harder. Donna, are you okay? Oh, she might be frozen. Three, two, one. All right, into that reverse plank dip. And like Coach Chris said, try to keep your toes onto the floor. That'll be harder. Three, two, one, let's go. Up. Welcome back, Donna. We're putting them all together right now. We're getting ready to put it all together. 
one. Time. Very last one, guys. Putting together two dips each. Three, two, one. Let's go. One dip, two dip. Step it up. One dip, two dip. You know, try to put your feet further out, especially for those tricep dips. And time, guys, time. That's it for today. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it out, stretch it out. Let's just shake everything off for us. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see. All right, everyone did a great job today. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it out. Let's just go ahead and just fling our arms out. Let's get that blood moving all around. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and Let's do a shoulder stretch first, nice and easy. So try not to pull on your elbow joint, either above or below. Try to make it as shoulder height as possible and don't let your shoulder hike up to your ear. Try to pull it back away from your ear. Shout out to our survivor, Allison. First class. Woo! Way to go, Allison. Just slowly let that go. Okay, let's go ahead and just shake it off a little bit and to your other arm. Again, across your chest. Try to avoid putting that pressure on that elbow joint, so either behind or in front. Pulling it back and shoulder away from your ear. Don't let it hike up. Okay, slowly let that go again. Just kind of make some circles with it. So I kind of shake it off. Good, okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just stretch out our triceps, so all that work that we just put on it. Reaching for our back scratch, using our other arm to pull it down. And try to look up as high as you can. We'll give that stretch a little extra oomph. Slowly let it go, let it go, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna go to that other arm. Okay, again, go for that back stretch. Use your other arm to pull it down and head up high as possible, as high as you can. slowly let it go again let's just shake it out so next what I want you guys to do is I just want you to stretch out our forearms we put a lot of pressure on them today so we're gonna go ahead uh, palm towards us and we're gonna use your other arm to pull that back okay so that should help relieve our wrist and our forearm Try not to pull it too much. We don't want to put too much pressure on it, but just light pressure so you feel that nice light stretch right on the top all the way to our fingers and our wrists. Okay, that's nice. I want you to do, is do just open up your palms as big as you can. Give me as big as a palm as you can. Stretch, 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 stretch. And release. We're gonna do that again. Open it up. Stretch, 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 stretch. And release one more time. Stretch it out. Spread. Oops, sorry. Oh, this one. <laughs> Wanted to uh, hide myself so I can take a cool video. You guys are all looking like uh, you know when you put your hand nice. in for. Um, oh, like this. Trying to like pick a trying to pick somebody. <laughs> one more time, guys. Extend, 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 and relax. Okay, this time we're gonna go palms facing out. And I want you guys to make sure you're pulling from your fingers because these tendons actually run all the from our fingers all the way to our forearm. So, palms up, 
pulling from our fingers and back. Now we're stretching the other side of our forearm. Let's hold that nice stretch from our fingers all the way to our forearms. Dina, don't forget to get your pinky and index finger involved too. Everything. All right, shake it out. We're going to our other arm. So palm facing us again. Point it backward. Nice, let it go, let it go. We're gonna do that same exercise that we did. Open up our hand as big as you can. Bah! Big hands. Stretch, 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 stretch and relax 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 and again as big as you can stretch your fingers out okay and relax we're gonna do it two more times and expand stretch it out relax one more time as big as you can stretch it out Oof. all right shake it up this time palms facing out again from our fingers to get all those fingers and we're going to stretch it backwards from our fingers all the way up to our forearm okay let that go Next, we're just gonna uh, stretch out our chest and our back. Let's do our back first. Let's go ahead and interlock our fingers, put it onto our chest, and from here, we're gonna stretch out from our chest, rounding out our back. Get that nice upper back stretch. Try to pull your fingers apart. Obviously, don't let it pull apart, but you're trying to fight against your fingers there. Feel on our upper back. Okay, slowly come back in. We're gonna reverse it. We're gonna interlock our fingers behind our back this time. And we're gonna go ahead and stretch those arms out behind us. Open up our chest and we're gonna look up. Open up those chests and all those push-ups that we did. And you should feel that a bit on your shoulders as well. Make sure to look up and pull, pull, pull behind you. Open up that chest. Okay. Last but not least, we're gonna take three deep breaths together, okay? As we take a deep breath, we're gonna scoop all the air up and then relax, okay? So let's get ready. One, take deep breath. Reach up, reach up, reach up as high as you can. Relax. Breathe out. One deep inhale again. Reach up as high as you can. Reach, 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 reach with the fingers and exhale and relax. One last one. Reach on your tippy toes and relax. That's it, guys. Thanks for coming up Friday morning to play with me. It's been a wonderful time. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your weekend. Thank you so much for joining. And Allison, congrats for surviving your first class. Give her a hand, guys. Give her a hand. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody.